stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned on clean. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. For me it was in the garden, he prayed not my will but thine. He had no tears for his own grief, but sweat drops of blood for mine. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. In pity, angels beheld him and came from the world of light. To comfort him in the sorrows he bore for my soul that night. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my soul shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my soul. My sins and my sorrows, he made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary and suffered and died alone. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how is my Savior's love for me. When with the ransom in glory His face I at last shall see T'will be my joy through the ages To sing of His love for me. How marvelous, how and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Sing it out with me. Hark the herald angels sing glory on earth and mercy my God and sinners reconcile joyful all ye nations rise join the triumph of the skies with the angelic host proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem hearts the herald Sing glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time behold Him come, offspring of a virgin womb. Bill in flesh the Emmanuel, hearts the herald angel 
voiceless light and life to all he brings with healing in his ring mild he lays his glory by born that man no more may die born to raise the sons of earth born to give them second birth Hearts the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Come desire of nations come Fix in us thy humble home As the woman's conquering seed Bruising us the serpent Adam's likeness now he face Stamp thine image in its place Second Adam from above Reinstate us in thy love Hearts the herald angels sing Glory to the new Joyful and triumphant, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels, sing in exaltation, sing all ye bright host of heaven above. Glory to God all glory in the highest oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him Christ the Lord yea Lord we greet on this happy morning, Jesus, to thee be all glory in. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore adore him Christ the Lord let's sing that chorus again oh come let us adore him 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 Christ Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Are we there? By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Shall we read that together, church? By him, therefore, 
Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. This morning, I'll be using as a subject, by him. By him this morning. And we read the verse this morning. The verse said, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. And I am always told that whenever we see the word, therefore, we need to find what is the therefore for. And here's a writer of this book. Is writing to the Jewish people and he's introducing them to Jesus who they have rejected. So he wants them to serve Jesus. So he's introducing them to him. So he said, by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. And when I read this text, I cannot get past the first two words of this text. It says, by him. And I want to tell you this morning, brothers and sisters, it is by him why we are awakened this morning. It is by him why we are here this morning. It is by him that we are saved this morning. It is by him that we are protected. It's by him the Red Sea was parted and God's people walk across on dry land. It's by him we are washed by his blood. You see, brothers and sisters, Paul was chosen by him. When Jesus told Ananias to go and seek Paul, Ananias was afraid. He said, no, I can't go. I heard a lot about this man. And Jesus said, go, because he's a chosen vessel unto me. I am so happy this morning that we are chosen by him. We are chosen vessels by him this morning. And also, the only way to the Father is by him. One way to the Father. Amen, church? So we are going to a place which is prepared by him. John 14. So I could not get past these two words this morning. I have to mention by him. We will be judged by him. 2 Corinthians 5.10. He said we shall all, brethren now, we shall all face the judgment seat of Christ. But those who are not saved, they will face the white throne judgment of Christ. I'm saying to you this morning, if you are not saved, today is a day of salvation. You need him this morning. It's better to face the judgment seat of Christ than to face him at the white throne judgment. By him, we are judged. As we read along, brothers and sisters, he said, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. The word of God is saying, we need to praise him. And when we come to church, the singing and the praising session is just as important as the preaching of the word of God. 
Sometimes we allow ourselves to be late for church. And we only come and catch the preaching of the word. But we need to be here for the worship service. It says, let us therefore, by him therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. We need to make the sacrifice and give in praise to God. Whatever is holding us back, whatever is keeping us back from being here early, we need to sacrifice that. We need to worship the God of heaven. He said if we are to worship him, we are to worship him in spirit and in truth. I will praise him in spite of my situation. It doesn't matter what we are going through, brother. We need to praise him. Whether it's a lack of funds, we still need to praise him. Sometimes when we are not feeling well, we need to praise him. Whether we are having problem relationship-wise, we need to praise him. God needs our praise. We are not giving our praise to men. We are giving our praise to the God of heaven. Whether I am on top of the mountain, I am going to praise him. Because he is the God of the mountain and he's also the God of the valley. So whether I'm in, on top of the mountain or in the valley, I will still praise him. It doesn't matter where we are. We still need to praise him this morning. Let us give our praise to God. Whether we are high or whether we are low. Psalm 34, 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Brothers and sisters, it is not only when we are at church, we praise the Lord. Our praise need to continue when we leave here. Our praise need to be at our workplace. We need to praise the Lord. We need to lift up the name of the Lord. You know, sometimes when I'm at work, I would just start singing some songs. And the guys there would say, come on, Brother Peter, let's hear it. And I'm so happy when I hear them say that. Because sometimes they even join in and start singing with me. Let us not be afraid to lift up the name of Jesus outside of the building. Let us give him praise continually. God wants us to praise him in the congregation. Psalm 22, 22 to 25, we can read it. In Psalm 1, 47 said, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant, and praise is comely. It's comely. That means it's beautiful. We are to praise God. Because it is beautiful to praise him. In spite of our situation, let us praise him. We are here this morning because of him. It is by him why we have clothes on our back this morning. It is by him that we have roof over our head this morning. It is by him, come on church. It is by him why we have shoes on our feet this morning. It is by him why we can stand and worship him this morning. So when we come to church to worship the God of heaven, we should not be ashamed, oh God, to even lift our hand and to worship him. Worship him in spirit and in truth this morning. Let us give, all, give God all the praise that he deserves this morning. He deserves all the praise. When we think about what God has done for us, he deserves all the praise. He gave his only son for us. We are the one who deserve death. But God gave his son. He gave his son for you and I. Remember in Genesis when Abraham took his son Isaac. 
up to Mount Moriah. And God was testing him. And when the son said, Father, yes, I've seen the wood. And he said, where is, where is the lamb? He said, God will provide himself. He provided himself, the lamb for you and I, this morning. So we can come this morning and sing praises unto him. Jesus died on the cross for you and I. So he deserves all the praise this morning. Let us give him praise. Let us not be ashamed to lift our hands, to even shout our voices unto the God of heaven. Let's give him praise this morning. He deserves all the praise. God is the God of praise this morning. And I just want to share three things that we will look at this morning that were done by him. Earlier we said that we were washed by his blood. It's amazing how a red blood can wash us and make us white than snow. It's got to be God. Amen, church? It has to be God. The word of God says we are like filthy rags. And we, nothing we can do can, can't cleanse us. Only the blood of Jesus. I'm telling the church, we can leave here this morning and we can take ourselves to Puritan cleaners or any one of those cleaners there and push ourselves in those machines and try to cleanse ourselves. We'll never cleanse ourselves enough to please a holy God. The water in the pool here cannot cleanse us. It's only by the blood. It's only by the blood. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? If you're not, you need to be washed this morning. There is still power in the blood. We'll sing the song that says, it will never lose its power. Never. The blood of Jesus is still has power to cleanse, to clean. It has a power to save us. Are you washed in the blood this morning? Are you washed in the blood? When Moses, when God sent Moses to Egypt to speak to Pharaoh, he said, to let my people go. And Pharaoh disobeyed. God says, all right, I want you to kill a lamb. And the blood I want you to put it on the doorpost. And on those houses that the blood was, was placed, they were protected. And when the death angel was passing through, the blood covered them. We are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are protected by his blood. The power of the blood The blood of God still has the power to save us. And secondly, we're going to look at by him, just based on the scripture. I am walking in the scriptures. Psalm 23, 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. When we are walking with the word of God, we will fear no evil. 
It says, no weapon form against me shall prosper. Let us live by the word of God this morning, church. Psalm 119, 11. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. God said if we have iniquity in our heart, he will not hear us. What we need in our heart this morning, church, is the word of God. Let us study the word of God and put the word of God in our heart this morning. So we can stand against the wiles of the enemy. When we are being attacked by the devil, we can throw the word of God at him. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet. When we're walking in the word, it is also the light to direct us this morning. And the word of God is given by him. It is not given by men. It is not given by some other God, small God. It is given by the God of heaven who died and rose again. And the third day he rose and is seated at the right hand of his father in heaven this morning. This morning we serve a living God. A living savior this morning. So we can take confidence in that. Every other God that is mentioned, they are dead and in the grave. And only when he said, get up, they will get up. Amen? But the God that we serve is alive and well this morning. And finally, the third thing we're going to look, look at this morning, by him, I am every day awaiting for the sun. Can we turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 this morning? And we'll read from verse 13 to verse 18. First Thessalonians, verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall, shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet him in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall it, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. He said, comfort one another with these words. These words were given by him. 
And if, if he says, comfort one another with these words, we can comfort one another. Knowing that, we are looking forward to the day of his coming. He said, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And if we are not dead at his coming, then we shall caught up to meet him in the air. Is it, it is such a wonderful thing to be looking forward to. I don't know about you, church, but I am already looking up. I am awaiting the coming of the Lord, our Savior. And this morning, if you are here and you cannot be comforted by these words, it's because you haven't known Christ as your Savior. So this morning, we are going to give you the opportunity to come this morning and accept him as your Savior. So next time, when you come back to church, you can sing. Or you don't have to wait until you come back. You can start singing today. It is well with my soul.